Hey, 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 friends. Yep, today we're having a real estate rant, episode one. So what I plan to do with these are really come on here, rant about what's going on in the market and as a real estate agent, and I'm gonna drop a lot of gems um, instead of being like the top five of this, which next week I'll talk about my top three to five brunch spots that I love in Dallas. So you'll still get some of those organized uh, videos, but what has been really dear to my heart is when I get on here and I talk to you and kick my feet up and feel like I'm talking to a friend who's like, tell me what's going on with the real estate market. And you know what I would tell them is, well, it depends. Are you, do you know someone who's looking to sell, buy? What are we looking at? So before we jump into all of that, if you're new, welcome, welcome. The community is about building confidence through the Lord and of course, through yourself and through real estate as of right now. So that's my purpose. God has given me when I was 24 years old, I was begging, like, God, please tell me <clears throat> my purpose. And he was like, your purpose is to help others with confidence in themselves and in the Lord. So right now, the confidence building is through real estate. Um, of course, I do some motivation. I also talk about dating, my dating life and other people's dating lives. Then I talk about like places to go in Dallas. Um, so that is what we're going to talk about today is just what's going on in real estate. So right now, um, not only in just Dallas, but in Texas, a lot of people have been like, okay, Kira, like, is it smart to buy right now? Interest rates are so high. Like, my sellers are like, well, where am I going to go? My buyers are like, should I wait? <sighs> Woosa. That's what I have to tell them. Woosa. Okay. So for my buyers, this is how, this is what I'll tell everyone. Well, if you know me, I tell you this and I tell you this and I tell you this. Buy real estate and wait. Don't wait to buy real estate. That's just what it is when it comes to my buyers, okay? Now, when it comes to my sellers, what I will tell you is there are places to go. And if you don't think it's a seller's market still, it is. What happened in the last year, you know, last two years, the last few months or shoot a month ago, the market has started to shift, okay? It's not fully shifted as in like it's a buyer's market. It has shifted as in like there's not multiple offers anymore. Interest rates are going, so it's not as much comp. Uh, comp what is it? Competition. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So buyers get in the market. There's not that much competition. When everyone is being greedy, you be cautious. When everyone is being cautious, you be greedy. Anywho. So um, that's what I would tell my sellers is go ahead and cash out. You can easily find another place. Your interest rates will be higher, but guess what? There are programs where you go through the loan, find a higher interest rate, and when the interest rates drop, you will be able to refinance for zero dollars, okay? And so, oh, okay, Google. Okay, Google, stop. Sorry, I had a timer. Jake is about to take a nap. Being a, a dog mom is very different for me, but anyways, let me stay on topic. So that is how I feel about the sellers. Now, I have been doing more research because a lot of people are like, okay, Kira, well, you know, I'm not, I'm dating the rate and I'm marrying the house. Okay, perfect. So when you have that mindset for my buyers, you want to think about, okay, what is the average rent or the average, not average rent, the average mortgage amount in Texas? And the average mortgage amount is about $1,675. Okay, so people who are looking for $1,000 mortgage, mortgages a month, please, you probably should continue to rent because- Right now, I mean, you can get into the market and pay $1,000. I just don't know what kind of house you're going to be living in, okay? And that's just the truth. Um, so that's in Texas. But in Dallas, I would say that, well, first off, if you make $100,000 a year, you could easily afford a $2,500 mortgage, okay? And with that being said, your, your price range would be anywhere from that three fifty dollars to $400,000 range. And there is options for that right now, guys. And... You guys need to jump in while the time is sweet because this window of like not that much competition, yes, interest rates are high. This window is not going to last that long, okay? But also, you know, inflation is up, recession is coming in, so I get it. So I wouldn't jump into anything unless you know that you are financially secured, which means that you have money in the bank, you got liquid cash. Um, you can always do one of the programs where you're able to uh, basically get down payment assistance. Sometimes with the down payment assistance, though, I will tell you this, they will, when you refinance, they will roll it back into your more, your uh, mortgage. So be careful with that. But the biggest opportunity of where I've been seeing is new construction right now. 
new construction, their prices have not dropped. They're not, they have not got with the times, but I'm, I'm, I am guarantee you, guarantee you, am I saying this right? Goodness gracious, guys, y'all pray for me. You can tell I've been on like talking in person versus on YouTube. I'm like, this isn't polished, but I'm, I'm human. I'm not trying to put on a portray that I'm perfect because I'm not. I'm not. So, um, so I think that the new construction is going to actually come down with price and they're still going to give you big incentives, especially these next two months. And the reason why is because they're not going to want to keep these homes on their books when they move to the next year. They're just not. So this is the best time to get under contract, to be able to get those big incentives, like 10,000 towards closing, 20,000 towards closing with, you know, with blinds, washer and dryer, refrigerator, all of those things included. So if you're still looking to become a homeowner before the end of the year, let's talk. Let's get you into a new construction community where you are able to get those deals. Okay, so when I, now I talk to my buyers, that's my rant is like, let's let's talk about new construction. If you're okay with living kind of on the outskirts, um, also refinancing after, you know, Interest rates have dropped. Even some builders are even buying down the rate for you. So there's lots of opportunity here for buyers, okay? It's opportunity for buyers when it comes to pre-owned as well because there's not that much competition. So sellers are doing repairs. Sellers are giving concessions. Yes, you heard me right, concessions. They're giving you money towards closing if that's what you need. Or they're giving you money towards, you know, redoing all the paint in the house. So there's still opportunity here too. So there's lots of opportunity, but like I said, this window will not last long, okay? So if you're looking, let's talk. I would love to like, you know, do a deeper dive, but I also don't wanna give you too much where it's not, you're not able to digest it, okay? Now, now I'm gonna talk to the sellers, all right? I've talked to my buyers, you, have, you see your opportunity, go get it. You have your fair share of going to get the opportunities that you want to create or that I can help you create. Okay. Now, when it comes to the sellers, you have opportunity because first off, the inventory is so low. We still have not shifted into a, a buyer's market just because we don't have enough inventory. For us to be technically in a buyer's market, we should have at minimum six months plus of inventory. And right now we probably have two, maybe three months of inventory, which is way more than it used to be, which is great. But now the pool of buyers have shrank. Okay. So now when it comes to sellers, you got to be very strategic. You cannot price your home for the market that has already passed. You have to price your home for the market that is to come. So if you're really trying to sell and be able to get the absolute most for your, your, your home, price your home correctly. And that is how you will be able to get multiple offers. Because I'm not saying that there's no there's no multiple offers. It's not as many. It's not like 21 offers on a home, which I've had a few listings this year that were like that. We're not. We're seeing maybe three to four. Okay, we're normalizing where we used to be. Okay. Also, I even see some of my um, sellers that are like buying down rates for buyers to be able to truly afford the home. So there's so many creative ways that we can really get your home sold and we can also get you into something else. Um, I would love to talk if, you know, real estate is, if you have something real estate related now or in the next three to six months, heck, even a year, let's talk because the best time to brainstorm is now, okay? <laughs> Why not? I mean, we don't know if we're promised for tomorrow. So I hope this has helped. Of course, I want you to always remember that you need to invest in real estate because it's going to give you the best return, period. You hear Jake? He just woke up. Anyways, guys, I hope this has helped. Hope you got a few nuggets from this. If you have any questions or concerns or things that you would want me to talk about related to real estate, please drop it down below in the comments. And I'll be more than happy to make a video off of it. Also, I've gotten so many people who want me to talk more about short-term uh, rentals, which is, you know, the Airbnb space or like vacation rentals. If that is something that you would like me to, to speak about as well, drop that in the comments as well. Tell me specifically what it is. Is it vacation rentals? Is it Airbnb? So I'm able to produce and give you guys exactly what you need to go for it. I love you guys. Until next time. Peace. Oh my gosh. There she is. It's Kira Ford. Kira Ford. You don't know what? Oh my gosh, she's played every time.